Oh. All right, let's do this one. So this is uh, titration. I'll read the problem. Uh, they can stop and rewind, right? So I'll just read it. Iron ores contain iron oxide minerals, which often contain ferric and ferrous ions. Such an iron ore can be analyzed for its iron content by dissolving it in acidic solution, reducing all the iron to ferrous ions, and then titrating with a standard solution of potassium permanganate. In the re resulting solution, permanganate ion is reduced to manganese 2 ion, and ferrous ion is oxidized to ferric ion. A sample of iron ore is weighed at 0 0.3500 grams. The titration required 41.56 milliliters of the permanganate solution, which is 1.621 times 10 to the minus 2 molar, to reach a light purple endpoint. Determine the mass percent of iron in the iron ore. This is a fantastic combo problem, mixing titration and uh, uh, redox. So here's how what how what I read works. We have an iron ore. In the iron ore is ferric and ferrous ions. We add acid to that. They're all oxides, so we have ferric oxide and ferrous oxide. We add acid. Acids tend to be reducing agents, or to reduce things. Okay. So we get everything reduced to the ferrous ion. Okay. Now, this ferrous ion, we add potassium permanganate. Notice I just wrote the manganate ion. We, we could care less that there's potassium. It's a... what is it called? What's the potassium in this case? Cation. Cation, and what kind of ion? What <coughs> name we learned in chapter? Alkaline. Uh, when it is not involved in the reaction. Um, spectator. That's right. So, Here's a special note you remember through all your chemistry career. If you ever interact with a first or second column metal, that would be uh, an alkali or alkali earth, it is most likely, with rare exception, a spectator ion. So, this said potassium permanganate. I didn't waste my time or ink writing down the K. And it says it goes to manganese <coughs> 2, which is this, and the uh, ferric ion. So, that's that. That's where I got all that. It also said you start with 41.56 milliliters and 1.621 times 10 to the minus 2 molar. What it wants to know is the mass percent of iron in this ore. In the rock. It's a rock. Okay? It's uh, iron oxides in that rock. It was a very typical uh, ore. It comes out as iron oxide. Well, to do that, I have to divide, I have to take the mass of what we're interested in divided by the total mass. Well, here's the total mass. Okay, so this is going to be in the denominator. This includes other garbage that's in here. Who knows what's in there? If, if I find the mass of this, this is just pure iron, which came from the original iron that was in here. So if I find this mass, I'll divide it by the total and multiply by 100. That's my solving technique. Before I can do any of this work, though, mathematically, I've got to balance this because I'll need the mole ratio. So that's, that's my mess. Okay? Let's try it.